Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode we pulled the second dragon needle and uh, right now we're like right next to this lake. Um, I think someone said I missed something inside of uh, Doria's place. Or was it Doria? I don't even remember. It's been so long. Why'd she go so slow through that? Okay. Well, I guess if any of your characters die, you can use that cutscene to revive them. Which is interesting. Um, but apparently they leave something. Uh, whoa. Magic butterfly. Okay. Well, this wasn't where she went away. We're supposed to be getting their mementos, is what someone said. And I think I missed... Was it Ionia? Who just... Did I already get hers? Sorry, it's been a while. Uh... I don't see it. Is it... Is it like a held item then? No, don't sleep. Jeez. Uh... Yeah, Doria's Memento. Razor and lipstick. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, Ionia is the one that... Uh, disappeared earlier and we need to get her memento that is all the way back well, where is that that's like all the way back to Tazmilly and a little farther and I'm don't know if we'll be able to get it then but if we can we'll get it then so uh, for now I think uh, we just want to be going to that mole cricket hole that we actually opened a little earlier not actually to the right of the whatever so, uh, let's check this out. Listen to this music. Good lord. Oh, that's nasty. Lotus Pod. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, so I have a fear of pores, if you didn't know. And, uh, Lotus Pod is kind of the worst thing for that. Like, in the world, there's nothing worse. That's worse. Something that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. Well, he can stay that way. So what are all these guys doing around? We're mole crickets. We dig lives we we dig lives in hole in them. We're exceptionally proud. Well good job, I'm I can't get over all the lotus pods. I hate it so much. So is this our mole cricket? Oh glad to see you didn't whip out on me. Here's our elder. I've asked him to be the judge for our match today. Oh of course. If you try to run away or do anything cheap, neither of us will set, sit by quietly. Just so you know. Anyway, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go into overtime, which will last 5 more minutes. And if a conclusion still isn't reached after that, our elder will decide who the winner is. Elder, is there anything you'd like to add? Wait. You folks are truly seriously going to fight him? Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is to run away. Oh boy. But you insist on it. In that case, I won't stop you. You ready to do this thing? Sure. I guess you have no care for your own life. The bell has rung. This is going to be the easiest thing in the world too, isn't it? I wonder if... Uh, if you actually go past 15 minutes, if it'll end. I think that'd be funny. Yeah, that's kind of how I thought this was going to go. <laughs> I see the one I'm just like, yeah, he's going to die in one hit. Two experience. I think he gave one last time or something, so that's good. That's enough, that's enough. We give up. To think that such a mighty mole cricket warrior could be so easily defeated. Perhaps mole crickets aren't so powerful after all. Really now? I'll meditate on, meditate on what else this means at a later time. But for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is to be on good terms with you. So let's be friends. Is there anything you need? Well, uh, I don't know. Actually, yeah. Do you know where the needle's sealing away the dark dra- Well, she's straight to the point. She knows what to say. We're looking for them. We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures. But call it a hunch, I think there could be a clue to these mysterious objects on the mountain on the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the Elder wants to say, too. Oh, this isn't the Elder talking. He's hard to read sometimes, though. Yes, I agree. The mountain. Go through the mole cricket hole and head up through, uh, head up the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. The mountain, huh? We don't have any other leads to follow up on, so let's check it out. Oh, hey. You guys don't know anything about the Dark Dragon itself, do you? 
Sadly, we don't. We're just mole crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's just a, he's still just a mole cricket too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the lotus roots blocking your way. And other things like that. Why would you want to eat that? That's nasty! Wow, a dragon. I bet it's really incredible. Like, I'd sooner eat a bug than eat lotus pods. Like, honestly. That's... Ugh. Especially when they have seeds in them. Ugh. Do you suppose you could tell us mole crickets e about even more things? Sure. Thanks. We'll try not to be too much of a bother. So please raise us to be great. To start off, I'm thinking of starting a business in our own unique mole cricket way. Please stop by if you ever happen to see us. Okay. So they'll have some stores around the place. If you're going to go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. You can treat him just like any other item. Hey, little bro, come here. There's the boy. They look like little scorpions. Alright, we got it. If you get lost in the mole cricket hole, just ask my little bro for help and he'll bring you straight back here. Okay, I thought he was going to eat him. Eat the lotus pods. Come on bro, get your act together. The bad news is he's kind of lame and hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world. So be careful, you can't take him with you outside the mole cricket hole. Right little bro? Jeez. Well, is he going to eat these uh, lotus pods? He better. Oh, they're just all going to come by. Yes, destroy it. I like the little, like, look of despair the Lotus Pod gave. I'm gonna kill them all, because that's just how nice of a person I am, ridding the wor world of this filth. Ugh. So, what does this sign say? Now on sale, Elder Approve. Made fresh daily. Only the most honest of honest make these sincerity dumplings. Really? Whether they sell or not, I make them every day and set them out so I can practice conducting business. I have some super fresh ones today, too. Sure, what do they do? They're 100... Restores 100 HP. Actually, that's not bad, but it's 100 DP, so I think I'll pass on that for now. Lotus root things are yum. Even their holes are yum. Ugh, even you're disgusting. At least you're getting rid of them. Uh, that's not where we want to go. Is that, like, downwards? Or is that up? Whatever. Let's get rid of these first. Oh, you know what? I bet that's a hot spring down here. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, I don't think we're missing any HP, but we'll go ahead and soak in here anyway. You know what this uh, this pink reminds me of, especially with these little things sticking out? They remind me of the monster guts in uh, Legend of Zelda, Link Be or Link uh, no, Breath of the Wild. I keep wanting to say A Link Between Worlds because that's, you know, a game. It's actually the last game that was made before Breath of the Wild, isn't it? Which is crazy, because that was, what, three or four years ago? It's ridiculous. Ooh, there's more mole crickets I want to talk to, though. At least, and those things don't respawn, so we're good. I'll give you this unbelievably accurate, accurate le yet unhelpful map. How? How is it unhelpful if it's accurate? Oh my god. Okay. So is what is the problem here the fact that all of the layers overlap because I'm noticing paths where there's not? I think that's the case. Wow. Why is this guy green? Oh, it's a frog cricket. Okay, well sure. I'm so happy you believed me. I worked hard to save your game just right. Okay, so it's a mole cricket working like a frog. I see. Gotcha. Please take care. Give my guard regards to the next frog you meet. You're not a frog, dude. Mole crickets know everything. Just about everything ever. Like how to dig holes and how to win fights. Yep. I'd say that's everything. Mole cricket holes are really big, you know. You're gonna get bored fast if you don't do pointless chit-chat with us. So I guess he's probably saying that they give hints. Also, does Elder have a shop, too? Since he said that. Okay. Nope, he's just sleepy. Well, in that case, so, okay. It has, like, this entire area right here open. Let's see if it's like that when we go down. Well, no, it's not, but I'm sure it overlaps just a ton. Huh. You want to know what's on the other hand of, end of the mole cricket hole? Everything over there is a mysterious for some reason. Not brave at all, so I'm too scared to go. They should give us a hint, like, always go right. If there's a turn to... Oh! Okay. 
You know, I usually stick with always stick to the left wall because, you know, you'll eventually get there and you won't get turned around. Even if you don't want to. Do that and you'll eventually reach the under other end of the small cricket hall. Have faith in yourself and proceed. And proceed not straight ahead. Time for another song. It's a twisty turny road, but it's not the path I choose. Chose. But don't complain and grin, just grin and bear it as you go down the twisty turny road. It's not the path I chose. Who did choose it, I wonder? Whenever there's a turn, be sure you turn. No matter what happens, turn at every turn. Do that and you'll never get lost. So that's why they gave us the little brother, just in case we do get lost like that. So let's do it then. This shouldn't be the worst thing ever. Go down here and I bet there's, okay. I bet there's secrets littered all over the place in this thing. There's gotta be. And I know there's like, there's like multiple ways to go the same way. This is ridiculous, really. I guess each of those squares is a, is a climbing thing. Yeah, sure is. It's ridiculous. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard then if it's just turn every time there's a turn. Okay, turn there. Nope. Gotta go to the one to the end. Oh, it's like five layers on top of each other. Okay. That's kind of crazy. But whatever, I guess. The worst part is if you were like speedrunning this game, you'd have to memorize all of this. Because there's paths that are faster that are not necessarily turning every time. Like uh, they meet together. And it turns out you turned like 50. That is shaped almost really badly. Uh, and there's like paths you turn. You're like you go around the entire room just to end up going to where it was right next to where you started. And I bet they're going to do that at least once, like in an extreme case. This isn't too hard so far. Looks like we're nearing the end, maybe? Yeah, you see, like, you would have to know just to go up here instead of going that other way. This is an interesting part. Are we at the end? Looks like it. Yeah, there's not much to go. So what is up, my dudes? Nothing at the end of that. It's just there for funsies. Getting close yet? Okay, the exit's right up here. Sweet. <gasps> Snowman! Good music. I'm excited. Because I know the songs in like both of the games, Earthbound and Mother 3, so that's cool. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes as being a pretty cool guy, okay? Sure, I guess. That was a fun little exploration. Oh, I love snow areas. Always. Snow areas are always the best. Welcome. I'm surprised anyone would come such to, to such a cold place. Oh, this music's so good. I missed it. Oh! There are Yeti enemies. A ten Yeti suddenly attacked. Like a hang ten Yeti? Okay. Well, let's do it. I'm, I'm like fairly certain he's weak to fire. If I were to guess. <laughs> Smells like an animal weak against fire, for sure. Weak against crying. So we could flash him if we wanted to. Oh, he also does a ton of damage. The background kind of looks like icy watermelons. I don't know why that's what I thought of, but it is, so. That's fun. Uh, just in case we don't want Lucas to be going down. Man, I'm getting worse. It's just because I haven't played the game in a while. Swung a plank of wood. That does much less damage. I'm sure he must be close to be de being dead. Also, look at those voluptuous lips. Beautiful. Cool. Well, that's our first enemy here. That gives us like twice the experience any of the other enemies before gave us. Wowie. Left a present. Inside the present was a luxury banana. Nice, so we got some really good healing if we ever need it. Looks like we have an icy wolf enemy here. Double jerky. Double jerky? What does that do? Uh, also, we should go ahead and give that to Boney. 
twice dried jerky restores 160. Okay, that's a bit better than that luxury banana. Let's try and get a back sprite. I guess not. Chili dog in its cohort. Gotcha. Okay, let's go ahead and use a good old PK Fire B, because I don't think, or Beta, because I don't think we've used it. Okay, they both set enemies on fire. I just wanted to make sure. And just because maybe they're not weak to fire. PK Freeze Beta. Ouchie. Okay, let's see. Animal weak against fire, weak against sleep, interestingly enough. There we go. That's better. Ooh, that did damage. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, Kumatora can actually just ease a life up just in case we don't. Boney doesn't knock him out. Oh, not on Lucas. Oh my god. Take him out. And I'm frozen. Okay. Good. Good. Lordy, a thousand experience, and that's just for normal enemies now. That's ridiculous. I think I'm gonna have Lucas use his life ups because uh, Kumatora has more important things to use her magic on. So uh, we'll just keep him for that, since he is really the support character anyway. That's so weird how the main character is the support, which that usually is not the case. All right, we're gonna take you down faster this time. How much does Kumatora do with their normal attacks, I wonder, at this point? I shouldn't have done that until the music started. It's not bad, that's like about as much as Boney. Man, I suck at this. Too early. Here we go. Getting, the, getting back used to doing these uh, combos. Boney leveled up to 30. That's good. All right, once again, give a little heal to Lucas because everything's focusing him here for some reason. I have no idea why. I wonder when we'll get Duster back. Lydia is a very kind person. The wee snowman love Lydia. Okay, so there must be a uh, another one of the uh, mad gypsies here. Chili dog. Oh, I get it! I get it! I had a chili dog today for lunch and I didn't get it until now. Wow. My dog is the superior dog. There we go. Those ones are pretty weak. But they still give like 500 experience. That's ridiculous. Alright, uh... No enemies over here? Doesn't look like it. Just wanted to make sure that didn't say anything. Cancer bracelet! Yay! The best one of all. Alright. Uh, plus 20 defense. Okay, well that's not good for Lucas. However, for Kumatora, that's up by 11, so... Yeah, we're gonna equip that to her. What did we have already? Uh, the Gemini bracelet? Wait, what? Was that body? Plus 9? Plus 12. Doesn't, wasn't it plus 20? Yeah, okay, well it gives us down uh, speed, was it? Oh no, it gives us down offense, so I understand why it said down then. I guess it's down um, like an overall amount of HP. Man, we're getting destroyed here though. Like the enemies are really simple, but they also do a ton of damage which each, with each of their attacks. And Kumatora is feverish, right at the screen tent transition. Okay, let's try and sneak by this, or not. Hey, Lucas is leveling up. Wow, we've all just leveled up in like the last three fights. Anything down here? Nope. Okay, let's keep going. Two yetis. Oh no, and we can't run. You can barely see her sweating. There we go. Okay, they don't seem to actually go after you. Welcome to Snowcap Mountain. I'm a snowman that Lydia made. Okay, well, I think we're going to end it off there. I didn't realize we were at 20 minutes already. So in the next episode, we'll explore more of the snow... snow-capped mountain, he said it was. See you all then, and goodbye.